Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very important concept, the gag reflex. Gag reflex, cranial nerves part 62, glossopharyngeal nerve, ninth nerve part 2. Gag reflex. The gag reflex is elicited by touching the pharynx or palate. The reflex is elicited by touching the lateral oropharynx with the tongue blade. The afferent limb of the reflex is mediated by the ninth nerve and the efferent limb is mediated through ninth and tenth nerves. The reflex center is in the medulla. The motor response is constriction and elevation of the oropharynx. The gag reflex is protective. It is designed to prevent noxious substances or foreign objects from going beyond the oral cavity. There are basically three motor components. The first is elevation of the soft palate to seal off the nasopharynx. The second is the closure of the glottis to protect the airway. The third is the constriction of the pharynx to prevent entry of the substance. So basically gag reflex has got three motor components. First is the elevation of the soft palate to seal off the nasopharynx. Second is the closure of the glottis to protect the airway. Third is the constriction of the pharynx to prevent entry of the substance. The pharynx receives bilateral supranuclear innervation and therefore a unilateral cerebral lesion does not cause detectable weakness. Pharynx receives bilateral supranuclear innervation and therefore a unilateral cerebral lesion does not cause detectable weakness. The gag reflex is often used to predict whether or not a patient will be able to swallow. Higher cortical centers have to inhibit the gag response during normal swallowing. A poor gag reflex in an awake patient with an acute deficit may be a predictor of swallowing difficulties. A decreased gag reflex in a patient with depressed consciousness may portend inadequate guarding of the airway and therefore an increased aspiration risk. The trigeminal nerve contributes to palatal sensation and may allow for paradoxical preservation of the gag reflex in the face of a ninth nerve lesion. A hyperactive gag reflex may occur with bilateral cerebral lesions such as in pseudobulbar palsy and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. So these are all the wonderful concepts of the gag reflex. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these concepts of gag reflex. The other important concepts of neurology, I have put it in a question and answer format in a book, Focused Neurology, written by me, Dr. S. Srinivas. This book is available online from all leading booksellers, including Amazon. If interested, this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these concepts of the gag reflex. If you have enjoyed it, please like it and share it. But do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.